this time, we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Welcome to Rochester Community High School for tonight's Three Rivers Conference varsity matchup between the Manchester Squires and your Rochester Zebras. The Squires come in with a record of 11 and 2 on the season, undefeated at four in the Three Rivers Conference. Solid waste district. The Zebras Don't trash our future, please. Our fourth cycle. And we're going to start with the Manchester Squires with a record of 11 and 2, 4 and 0 in the TRC. They will start a 5'11 senior wearing zero. Garrett Seitz, a 5'11 senior wearing number four. Tyler McLean, a junior, 5'8. Number five, Ethan Hendricks, and a junior. Wearing number 11, 6'6, Gavin Benton, and a senior, 6'1, number 20, Gavin Martin. Coach Eli Henson of the Manchester Squires, and now the starters, as you heard Coach Malco uh, give them to you earlier, going to start a 5'8 junior, number 2, Drew Bowers, a 6'2 junior, number 11, Tanner Reinhardt, 6 foot 11, or 6 foot junior, number 20, Owen Prater. 6'1", junior, number 23, Bryce Bocker, and a six-foot sophomore, number 24, Carson Pollock. The starting lineups brought to you by Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future, please recycle. Final thoughts, Val, before we get ready to tip it up tonight. Let's see how tight that zebra zone defense is tonight, and let's see how quickly they react and how well they communicate in terms of where Benton is on the court. But you also have to keep an eye on Hendricks. The amazing thing about Hendricks, he's 5'8", but he averages five rebounds a game. He's yeah. a good rebounder for a guard. Yeah, you're going to have to definitely block out. And you heard Coach Malco, he, he wants to kind of do the same thing as uh, Coach Henson does, get up and down the floor, cause havoc tonight. It could be uh, an interesting one as neither team has been in school or had a lot of practice this week. So right. it'll, it could be a little uh, rough first quarter. Boy, two years ago, Manchester it was the last time Manchester came here. They were up by 14 in the fourth quarter. Zebras came back to win 74-72. That was a huge win. Yeah. Rock Bowers went crazy in the fourth quarter. Let's see if uh, younger brother can do something similar tonight. Except maybe not fall behind by 14. And yeah, that'd be better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in the JV game, it went to Rochester over Manchester, 54-41. Grant Clark leads the way for the Rochester Zebras with 19 points in that JV contest. Well, the, uh, both teams are announced. Uh, final instructions from both coaches as we get ready to go here tonight. Don't forget, tomorrow we will play, Rochester boys will play casting. They will play casting. JV, 1 o'clock. And so uh, join us to that for uh, the varsity game about 2.10 here tomorrow afternoon and then the girls game in the evening. We're ready to go here, and it's going to be Benton and Bogger to jump. The veteran crew with Chad Boldry and Jeremy Beckner and Rick Puddell. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend, Rick Puddell. <laughs> yeah. We saw him earlier this week at Bi County. He's done a lot of games. Yeah. And, and, a, and a lot of different sports, too. Yeah. Manchester controls the basketball off the tip. 
Manchester gets it. They go down in low to Martin. Loses it. Stolen. Here is Zebras. Down to Pollock. Pollock down in the corner. Now he gets it back out to Bowers. Bowers will reset to Pollock in the corner. Pollock guarded by Martin. Now he's got to pick up his dribble, and he does give it off to Reinerts. Now here's Bacher with it. Bacher on the right side now, and Pollock on the right corner. Pollock. Has it, dribbles in. Pollock looking for the court. There's Bowers on the cut. Good up and two for Drew Bowers. Quickly down the floor is the Manchester Squires. Zebras lead two to nothing. And here's a pass down in the corner. That goes over to Benton. Benton comes back out to top of the key. That goes to Hendricks. His shot up and no good. Rebound saved, but right into the hands of the Squires. Oh, great play by Martin. Martin with a three in the corner is good. Gavin Martin gives Manchester the lead, 3-2. to two. Here's a steal in the backcourt. Manchester with the basketball. The Zebras will kick it out of bounds. It'll stay with Manchester. We talked about it. Uh, that Coach Henson's going to bring everything he's got. Yeah, uh, again, I, Owen Prater's playing all out, but yeah. he saved the ball underneath the opponent's basket. That bad things ha didn't happen when that Into happened. Into Benton, and that foul is coming, and Benton will go to the line to shoot two. And that foul is going to be whistled Prater against first. Prater, his first, team first of the quarter. So yeah. Benton will go to the line to shoot free throws. And Benton just lives at the foul line, yeah. too. He gets fouled a lot. Benton with his first one on the way is good. So it's 4-2 to two with 6.54 to go here in this open quarter. Well, we hear he's got some NAIA offers so yeah. far. Uh, we'll see if he gets anything above that again. Just a junior, so. Just a junior, so. Yeah. Second free throw, good, and it's 5-2. to two. Here's press put on by the Squires. It's a man press. They get it to Bowers. Bowers will clear things out. Now he'll get it up to Bogger. Bogger with the basketball, just inside to three. Fires up a shot, no good. Pollock with a rebound, up, and he's going to be fouled after the block by Benton, but I think they're going to get McLean on the other side, and they do. And it's going to be McLean's first, team first. So they did get McLean with it. Yeah. Eli Henson jumped out of his chair. He's like, that better not be unbetten. And it wasn't. Carson Pollock going to the free throw line to shoot two. Well, Carson's got an interesting day tomorrow. As many of you know, he does both bowling and basketball. Yes. That the bowl is short. And he is he's not just a bowler. He's a really good bowler. Yeah. He would... Um, qualified for regionals as an individual and the Zebras qualified as a team. They have separate competitions yeah. and the Zebras actually won the sectional to get to the regional. So I think he's going to have to make a choice and play yeah. one score yeah, with and skip the other. Yeah, with a afternoon game. Carson's second free throw is good and now it's 5-3. to three. Manchester on top. Six and a half to go here in the first. Manchester to bring the ball up. That is McLean to get it in the corner. McLean three on the way. Good. And it's 8-3 to three now. Here's Bowers breaking the press. Bowers has his, has his uh, pass deflected by Seitz, and then Bowers is going to commit a foul as Seitz steals the basketball. That's going to be on Bowers, Bowers. His, first his first team second. Team second. Just so quick are the Manchester Squires. Those hands, they reached in and got a tip on it. Now they get it in to Hendricks. Ethan Hendricks with a basketball. Gets it across the timeline, guarded by Bowers. Now they give it over to Martin. Down low to Benton. Kicks it back out to Seitz. Seitz down in the corner. Now to Hendricks. His pass in low is tipped back out into the hands of Manchester. Up in the uh, air. Last touch by the Zebras out of bounds. Manchester. You just feel bad for Tanner Reinhardt. He made about, he didn't make, just make a good defensive yeah. play. He made like two or three good defensive plays there, but inadvertently goes off Prater. And you, you worry about that cross screen play to get. Uh, Benton open. Thankfully, they didn't run it there. Hendricks gets the pass on the inbounds. Top of the Cleveland McLean. That pass is knocked loose. Ball still on the floor. Picked up by Manchester. Now they'll throw it out of bounds. And Seitz thought uh, uh, Hendricks was cutting to the basket, and he did not. And it goes out of bounds. Zebra basketball trailing by five. Well, Coach Malco talked about being sluggish in practice. There have been about three 50-50 balls in this yeah. game. Manchester's gotten all three. Here's Reinhardt with it over to Prater. Prater in against Benton. Goes up. Shots blocked. Picked up by Seitz. Seitz quickly down the floor. Tipped from behind by Prater, but right into the hands of McLean. Top the key. Martin for three. Off the mark. No good. Reinerts with a rebound. Quickly ahead to Pollock, but that's tipped. Saved by McLean. Into the hands of Benton, and it'll stay with Manchester right in front of the Zebra bench. 
And so Manchester will inbound. Martin will get it in. Martin looking, looking, still having problems. Finally gets it in just before the five count. Gets it into Hendricks. Benton sets the screen. Hendricks goes around it. Free throw line. Kicks it out. McLean three ball on the way. No good. Rebound for Reinerts. Now to Pollock. Pollock at the other end. And a foul coming. And that's going to be on McLean as he grabbed the arm of Carson Pollock as he was going up for the layup. And Carson will go to the line to shoot two. Zebras, that was a pick and pop play yeah. designed to get Benton to look. Zebras were aware of what was going on there. And that was not the shot they wanted. And so good defense there by Rochester. And then a good job to look up ahead. Yeah, and Pollock a, was breaking, a fast break. breaking on the shot. Pollock yeah. at the line. One for two so far this evening. He's got two more coming. And that one's nothing but the bottom of the net. Substitutions. And Prater sets down. And coming in is Kaiser. And also coming in, Wyatt Prater for Manchester. You can't play slow. I mean, you just can't play slow all the time against yeah. Manchester. Just say, well, they're going to play fast. So we want to play slow. It doesn't work the that way. Pollock, both of them. You have to be kind of selectively aggressive. Eight to five. Here comes Manchester. Seitz quickly down, throws up a shot, no good. Benton gets the rebound. Benton kicks it back out to Seitz. Down in the corner, here's Benton. Benton against uh, Tanner. Kicks it back out, now to Martin. Top of the key. They try to go down low, and a nice kick by Tanner Reinerts. Good defense, moving his hands and his feet. Yeah, Coach Henson wanted a foul called on Reinerts. Scheme a little bit yeah. of a body along the baseline. Uh, Get it into Seitz. Seitz back into Benton. Benton, turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound fought for. Seitz comes away with it. Down to Martin. He loses it, and it's going to be out of bounds. Zebra basketball. And a substitution for Manchester, number 24, Caleb Klein. And the Zebras won a 30-second timeout. 4.43 to go here in the first. 8-5, to five, Manchester on the top. See, the McConaughey Western game was postponed. Yes. And if I didn't know that before, I knew it when I saw John Burris in the crowd here tonight. <laughs> yeah. And so he is here. Uh, Peru is playing Lafayette Central Catholic. I think that game is still on. Yep. Yes, it is. In Lafayette tonight. Yep. And then the other eight teams are playing conference games. Obviously, these two. Lewis Cass is playing at Southwood. So somebody's going to get their first conference win tonight. Well, so <laughs> in this game, somebody's going to get their first conference loss. Right. Uh, Whitco is playing Northfield tonight. And Wabash is at North Miami. Ooh. Okay. And the Zebras. Looking to get it again against the press. And Tanner catches it, turns to look, and Bowers went a different direction, and it's another turnover on the Zebras. I'm wondering if that was a missed uh, assignment or something. Yeah. That was way off. Manchester now with the basketball. Here is Prater. Bout. Wyatt Prater for the Squires has it top of the key. Zebras and a man. Prater gives it off to Martin. Now into Benton. Benton into the lane. Picks up his dribble. Kicks it out to Martin. Now back to Benton. Top of the key. He'll fire a three good. Three point pass. Gavin Benton with his first field goal of the night. Gives him Manchester 11. And they lead 11 to 5. Here's Tanner Reinerts across the timeline. Reinerts picks up his dribble. Now looking for Bowers. Gets it off to him. Top of the key. Bowers against Wyatt Prater. Bowers into the paint, pull up jumper. Off the mark, no good, gets his own rebound, kicks it back out to Reinerts. Head fake, step back three on the way. Off the mark, no good, battle rebound. And almost saved by Bogger, but Manchester comes away with it. Down to the other end, here is Hendricks. Pull up jumper, good. It's a two pointer Hendricks. for Hendricks. 13 to five. Here's Pollock with the basketball. Pollock down low. Now he kicks it back out to Reinerts. Reinerts into the paint. Head fakes. Can't get Benton off his feet, so he kicks it back out to Bowers. And now we're going to have a double dribble on Drew Bowers. Yep. Another turnover. Yep, that was a double dribble, and it started with Benton. I mean, just kind of his ability to intimidate on defense. Yeah. I mean, he didn't even block a shot, but uh, Tanner Reinerts made a nice jump stop, but Rochester was kind of out of sorts after that. So here is Manchester at the other end. That's Caleb Klein. Shoots a three, no good. And Bowers comes away with the rebound. That's not a good shot. Here's Kaiser. Kaiser, top of the key to Bacher. Bacher fakes it into the paint, kicks it back out to Reinerts. Reinerts draws three as he goes into the paint, kicks it back out. Bacher to the hole, has it blocked from behind, and a foul coming 
on the Squires, and that'll send the Zebras back Squires to the free throw line. Well, that's a good read by Bryce Bogger. Yeah. He realized he can take Klein off the dribble, and there was good spacing on that as well. So that's, you know, you're seeing Bryce come into his own as a player and kind of how he thinks through the game as well. Free throw on the way is good for Bogger. He's got his first point. And Hook will check in for Pollock. And I was just notified that the 2024 Michigan, Michigan City Regional Bowling uh, has been postponed. Singles event will be Sunday the 21st, and Tuesday the 24th will be the team event. So Carson doesn't have to decide. That's great, yeah. Second free throw is also good uh, he, by Bacher. He was spared a tough decision. Yes, 13 to 7, three minutes to go here. His loyalties are not split. Nope, he can throw a strike tomorrow. Yeah. And we got a charging foul on the other end against Caleb Klein. Two quick fouls on him. Great job by the Zebras to get back on defense. And Coach Henson will go to the bench and bring Seitz back in. And Klein will sit down. 2.54 to go here on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. 13 to seven, Manchester leads. Five turnovers on each team. Here is Prater, a quickly ahead to Hook. Hook loses it, goes and tracks it down into the corner. Now gets it back out to Prater, a bad throw. It's going to be touched by Manchester. Well, he said touched. I'm confused because uh, Chad said it was touched, but then as soon as Tanner picked it up, he whistled for an over and a back. He's explaining to Coach Malco, who still has a confused look. I'm confused because, yeah, he, he gave the, the touch signal. Yeah, so am I, yeah. But again, there's just been some sl sloppy sloppiness. Yes. On Both sides, really. I mean, a couple, you know, mm -hmm. right now here is mm -hmm. Prater. Zebra's in his zone, kind Hendricks. of like a 3 2 zone with yeah. Dylan out there. Again, that's, you know, Dylan looks comfortable out on top of that zone. They go into Benton at the free throw line. Over the top, they go down to Martin. Martin underneath the basket, reverse up and yeah. good. Gavin Martin's got five here in the first quarter, and it's 15 to seven. And there you see Benton's passing ability. Yeah. Prater gives it off to Tanner Reiners. Free throw line jumper, good. Tough shot. That was a tough shot. He, he kind of hesitated, but went back up with it. And over the top of Martin, or excuse me, of Hendricks does the pass from Prater, and he'll find a place on the bench as he'll be replaced. By number 33, Talon Torpy. So two minutes to go, 15 to nine. The Zebras with a little pressure there. Yeah. Hook. Sometimes the teams that press don't like to be pressed. Gets it into Bowers. Bowers top of the key. Now they give it off to Prater. Prater, right wing. Prater dribbles in, loses it, picks it back up, looks it off to Jonas Kaiser. Kaiser with the basketball. Now top of the key to Reinert. Swings it over to Bowers. Bowers, left side, into the paint. Jump up and good. Over the top of Benton, he had to get a little extra air under that one, and the Zebras have well, cut it to four. Well, shot it left-handed. Yeah. Benton gets the ball finally across the timeline, and Hook comes in and tips it and steals it. Kaiser with it now. Bowers gets it across the timeline. Minute 20 here in the first quarter. Bowers with an awkward shot, throws it up, gets his own rebound, up and good. Just yep. persistence by the Zebras. Coach Malco said he wanted a little helter-skelter, and yeah. he's getting it right that now. A, that was actually really good defense by Hendricks, but Drew just keeping after it. 15 to 13, a minute to go. Manchester with the basketball. Benton at the free throw line. Jumper off the mark, no good. Prater has the rebound. Oh, strong Almost rebound by Almost stolen, Owen. but he held on to it. Now over to Bowers, across the timeline. Reinerts for three in the lead. Good! <laughs> Tanner Reinerts with five. And the Zebras take a one-point lead, 16-15. 40 seconds to go here in the quarter. Reinerts with a steal, saves it behind his back. Kaiser goes down low to hook, it's stolen by Manchester. Now a foul coming. That was good defense by both yeah. uh, Hendricks and then getting in the passing, and that was Torpy. That's going to come on to Kaiser. It's going to be his first, only but, the team third. But... Uh, yeah. Also, an ill-advised pass by Kaiser. That would have uh, been hard to get there. Bowers will come out, and also coming out, Tanner Reinert. Pollock in, and Bryce Bucker back in. Again, depth-wise, Rochester will be fine yeah. in this game. Uh, 
32, 30 seconds now left in the quarter. 16, 15, Zebra's up by one. Zebra's putting the pressure on. Here's Batten at the free throw line. Goes to a wraparound pass, throws it out of bounds. Turnover, Manchester. Uh, turnover number nine for Manchester. And this yeah. is a team with veteran guards. And yeah. a lot of, you know, they start three seniors and two juniors. I mean, this is a veteran team. Manchester putting pressure right back on the Zebras. They go over the top to Kaiser. Kaiser looking for it. Gives it off to Prater. Prater right in front of the Manchester bench. Double teamed. Manchester then steals it. Nope, tie up, and it's going to stay with Rochester. Zebras will have it with 12.3 seconds to go and a one-point lead. Well, not ideal because you wanted that arrow to start the second that, quarter, but better. if you can convert here and take a lead into the second quarter, you got to feel really good about considering that it didn't start very well. They get it in the backcourt to Carson Pollock. He'll bring it up. Ten seconds to go. Pollock with the basketball with eight. Pollock into Prater. Prater slips, still has it with five. Prater double teamed over to Bacher with two. Bacher throws up one at the buzzer. No good, but the Zebras will take a one point lead into the quarter. 16 15 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. More Zebra basketball on the way. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Lead by one, 16 to 15. Grant Clark will come in for Jonas Kaiser to start the second quarter. So it'll be Prater. Hook, Bogger, Pollock, and Clark for the Zebras. Hendricks averages 13 a game. Rochester's held them to two so far. 16, 15, and back in the 2-3 zone. Though it's kind of an it's kind of an extended zone a little bit. Yeah. Hook up at the top. Again, putting the pressure Dylan on. Dylan Hook, and then top of that zone. That's that's a role he's he's really comfortable at. Martin has it now. It gives it off to Hendricks. Hendricks, he, top he of the key. Hook and Bogger on top of the zone. That's a lot of length. Now they give it off to McLean. McLean dribbles back up to the top. McLean now over to Hendricks. Now into Benton. Benton double teamed by Clark. Good pressure by Clark. Throws up a running shot. No good. Prater with another rebound. Prater's passed and is stolen. Here's Hendricks with a shot up off the glass. No good. Rebound Kaiser. Or excuse me, Bocker. Gives it off to Clark, now back to Prater. Prater, top of the key. Prater, down low. Prater, up and over, his defender is good. Owen Prater with his first points of the night. 18-15. On an 11-0 run, dating back to the first quarter. Here is McLean with it on the far side. He gives it back up to Hendricks. And we've said a lot about Owen. He plays off yeah. two feet always. Torpy has it, now into Benton. Benton and travels. Zebra's causing havoc for Benton in the middle. So 50, Carter Wagoner will come in for Manchester. Bowers and Reinhardt's back in. Prater sits down and so does Hook. 6.53 in the first half to go. Zebra's lead by three, 18-15. I think Eli Henson just looking for a spark here. Yeah. Uh, bringing in Wagner. I don't think he's yeah. it's in this early usually. Breaks it down. Bogger is going to be whistled for a charge. Bryce Bogger going to pick up his first team first. So Zebras will see if they back up here. Ten turnovers for Manchester, eight for Rochester, including that charging foul. Zebras will wait and pick him up at half court. 6.45 to go here in this second quarter. Zebra's up by three. Now Zebra's look like they're playing a man. Yeah. Well, they changed personnel, so they look to do it. And Reinhardt's with a steal. Deflection by Bowers. Here is Bacher with it on the far side, or on the near side. Cross court over to Tanner. Reinhardt's fakes a three against Benton, puts it on the floor. Head fakes, goes up, and good. Oh, you got to love it. <laughs> Going right at the big fella. He did. And it's a five-point lead, largest of the night. I mean, the confidence that Tanner's playing with. Here is Hendricks. And, and he played with a lot of confidence against yeah. Whitco. You're hoping he'd come back with it, and he has. Here's Hendricks with it from the handoff by Benton. Hendricks, near side. Now back to Benton, and Tanner's going to pick up a quick foul. It's going to be his first, team second of the quarter. Okay, he's playing with a little too much confidence. <laughs> 6.01 to go before halftime. Zebra's up by five on the uh, Jennings Insurance scoreboard. They have a girls' final score. Tippecanoe Valley defeated West Lafayette 32 to 30. Okay. Here is Manchester again with the basketball. That is Torpy. Goes up top. Fakes a three to Hendricks. Torpy will fire a deep three off the mark. No good. Benton chases down the rebound. Here he is Hendricks for three off the mark. No good. 
Carson Pollock with the rebound to Bowers. Bowers one on one and block and count it. Drew Bowers with the basket. And he'll go to the line to shoot one. And coming in will be Klein. Sitting down will be Torpy. And that foul was called on number five, Hendricks. His first team's first of the quarter. And Drew Bowers looking to complete the three-point play. Basically a long rebound, sparked a fast break. Yeah. Bowers free throw, good. 23, 6, 15. It was a good outlet pass. Was that Pollock who made the pass? Yeah, Pollock yeah. did. Now here is Bowers playing defense. Again, the man that left to open a three-point shooter, and, and that was Klein. No good. Here's the rebound for Manchester. Top of the key. Hendricks, good. Hendricks. Hendricks with three. Stops the scoring drought for Manchester. Now Bowers with it. Bowers over the top. Goes to Kaiser. Kaiser back to Bowers. Now they get it across to Pauly. Five minutes to go here before halftime. Lager win the corner. Now into Clark. Clark goes up strong. Misses it. Gets his own rebound. Up and good. The big guy blocked the first one. Yeah. But Clark stayed with it. Got his yeah. rebound. Great move by Grant Clark. Here's Hendricks. Kicks it out. Here's a three on the way for Martin. Good. And Coach Hendricks, or Henson, wants a timeout. Gavin Martin gets a three. It's a 60, 25, 21. The Zebras lead with 4.42 to go here in the first half. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. 4.42 to go before halftime. Zebra is now with just a four-point lead. And going to have the ball will be the Zebras to go to the distance after the Manchester timeout. Reinhardt's will inbound. That was a big three by yeah, Martin. That was. Uh, because Baseball pass down, stolen by Betton. It was intended for Prater. Betton quickly down ahead. Here's Hendricks again for three off the mark. No good. Rebound to Martin. Martin goes right back up. Good and a foul. And I believe that's going to be on Reinhardt's. Zebra foul, number 20, Prater. Oh, they're going to call his it on Prater. Second. That was his second, team third. Gavin Martin and so Gavin Martin one. now to the line to shoot one. What's frustrating is that Rochester is being beaten up on the boards, but it's not Bedden who's doing it, it's the other guys. Right. Free throw short, ball's tipped around, and Pollock comes away with it. A quick lay ahead. They give it to Clark. Now over to Bowers, and they're going to say Clark traveled. Two-point contest, 25-23. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Lots of basketball coming your way tomorrow as well. We'll talk about that coming up at halftime. Halftime being brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal. Here's Hendricks off to Benton in front of the Zebra bench. Now back over to Martin. Martin, another three on the way, no good. Benton with the tip in, and the ball sets on the flat part of the that rim. That is unbelievable. And it'll be jump ball, possession, zebras. That thing's still just sitting there. I don't know if I've ever seen a tip in do that, Val. That's that's a, that's what I call a soft touch. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a really soft touch. It was not a wedgie. It just no, sat it up sat. on the back of the rim. Yeah. Here's Bowers with it over the top to Prater. Too far over the top. Another turnover gives it right back to the Squires. Five turnovers this quarter, and we haven't even played four minutes yet. Coach Malko says we want to press. They were playing better with that press, so he's going to go back to it. Diamond look for the press here with four minutes to go. Here's Hendricks with it. Hendricks dribbling on the far side. He'll get met at half court. Now he'll bring it back this way to Seitz. Now down in the corner. Ball is oh, tipped around, and Seitz ends up with it. Seitz with the basketball. Seitz now back over to Martin. Now to Hendricks. Looks Seitz. like Martin walked. They go down low to Wagner. Turnaround jumper, no good. Ball's tipped. And who comes away with it? Martin. Martin's been a beast on the boards for Manchester. He only averages about three or four rebounds a game. He's been, yeah, you're right. Benton gives it off to Hendricks. Hendricks on this near side, drives in, kicks it back out up top to Seitz. Hendricks gets it back Moving as he screen. goes through. And nope, travel first. Okay. Either way, it's yeah. a turnover. Yeah, it was a hip check. <laughs> Somebody gave a hip check on that screen. So Seitz will come out. Coming back in will be Tyler McLean. McLean is senior on this Manchester squad. Zebra still with a two-point lead, 25-23. Parson 
Carson Pollock to inbound, gets it to Reinerts. He'll just dribble it across the timeline. Tanner into the paint and has it tipped from behind. Picked up by Frick Martin, now off to McLean and a foul coming and that one's gonna be on Bowers. And that will send Manchester to the line and the line the rest of the game, uh, quarter with 3.11 to go. And McLean will be the one shooting these two. McLean's got three points on the evening so far, three earlier in the first quarter. Free throw on the way, too hard off the back of the iron. Still 25-23, 3.11 to go here before halftime. You can't really tell the story of the TRC in basketball without talking about the Henson family. I mean, it just goes on and on. Of course, uh, Eli's late grandfather, Floyd Henson, was the first coach at Tippecanoe Valley. Free throw's good, 25-24. Bowers gets it, and Bowers is going to be filed. It's just going to be the second. And we have Martin picks up his first. Team second of the quarter. Chris's his father coached in the TR, Eli's father Dave coached in the TRC. His brother Zach was the boys coach in North Miami at one time. I mean, you cannot tell the story of TRC basketball without talking about the Henson family. They're right up there. Reinert's with it. Off to Pollock. Pollock comes around the top. Now he gives it off to Prater. Prater dribbles in, kicks it back out to Clark. Clark, down low to Prater. He's double teamed, he kicks it back out. Clark's gotta go chase it down, and he does. Clark with the basketball. Going to have to do something with it. Takes one dribble, and the ball is loose. Prater comes away with it. Prater gives it off to Bowers, throws up a shot off the glass. Good. Just I'd like rather, they drew it up. Rather be lucky than good any day. Here's Benton going to the other end. Layup up and good. Benton. Benton's first two-point field goal tonight, and it's 27-26. Ball's tipped, and it'll stay with the Zebras. Pollock will come out, and coming back in is Bodner. Also coming in will be number 33, Torpy. Torpy sits and comes in, and Wagner will sit down. Locker getting in, does in the backcourt, now to Bowers. Bowers goes around defender, tipped by Matt Batten off of Coach Henson, and it'll stay with the Zebras. Clark comes out, Dylan Hook comes in. 2.15 to go here before halftime. Now, Bacher will inbound. Bacher slaps it, gets it ready, and we're going to have a moving screen. Prater's going to be called for a Balls moving foul. screen. That's going to be his third. Prater, his third. And now, Team Jack Smith. Clark will come Prater. in, and Prater will sit down. Now checking into the zebra lineup, 34, Jack So Jack Reffitt is in. And that's going to be, let's see how these last 2.15 yeah. play out because Rochester needs Owen Prater badly. He's one of their best ball handlers. I think it's the team that's just been relentless. Here is with Manchester pressure. in front of the Zebra bench. They get it up top. Here's McLean. Elbow jumper on the way. Short. It's an air ball. But saved by Hendricks. Zebras come away with it. Here's Bowers. Bowers dribbles down. Kicks it off to Hook. Hook into the paint. Has it blocked. That is blocked by Torpy, picked up by Benton. Well, that was a great move by yeah. Hook, but an even better block by Torpy. McLean, the other end, no good. Rebound, Bowers. Bowers quickly ahead to Tanner Reinerts. Down low to Hook. Hook, head fake, still partially blocked, but it'll be out of bounds as Hook had Benton on his backside, and he tried to give a head fake. Yeah, that's not going to bother him. Yeah, no, <laughs> not going to bother him. It turned out. That turned out well that Rochester really keep the ball. Let's see if they got an inbounds play. Jack Ruffett in. Get the ball in. They get it into Reinerts. Tanner into the paint. Tanner against Benton. Has it blocked. Picked up. That's picked up this time by Martin. Martin going the other way. And Jack Ruffett going to pick up a foul as he just reaches in to try to slow him down. And that will be shooting free throws now. And shooting them will be number 20, Gavin Martin. Martin missed his first. Martin, a silent 10 points already. I think you could argue he's been their MVP yeah. in this game so far. Martin's first free throw is good this time. He's got 11. And now we're tied, 27-27. Minute 21 to go here in this first half. 
Free throw, short, and Hendricks saves it, but he steps out of bounds. So now it'll be Zebra basketball. With a minute 20, Bacher will inbound. Again, after the ball is inbounded, don't run away from the ball, run yeah. to it. And Bowers gets it back to Bacher. Now over to Reinerts. Reinerts against Seitz. Knocked loose. Tanner picks it up, throws it off to Bacher. Bacher down low, kicks it back out to Reffitt. Reffitt throws up a little running jumper. Off the mark, no good. Bacher with a rebound. Bryce back up, no good. Blocked again by Torpy. And here's a pass stolen by Bowers. Now to Bacher, head fake, up and basket rolls out. But Bacher will draw the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul is coming on Seitz. And we are tied at 27 with under 60 to go. And Bacher down to the free throw line. Rice has two points on the night. Free throw is good. Bryce has three. Zebras with a one-point lead. Bowers comes out. Polly comes in. And also coming in was Wagner. And for Manchester, Seitz will sit down. It looks like Bryce has changed his free throw style a little bit, and it looks a lot better. Bryce, second shot. Good. Rolls it in. He's got four. It's a little bit of a side spinner. I'm, it's not pretty, but it's... It's more effective than the, it was before. Two point zero lead with 45 seconds to go in the in the half. It's not supposed to spin like a globe. <laughs> Mar <laughs> Martin <laughs> has the basketball. Martin, sight over to the pass. Now into Hendricks. Back over to Torpy. Now back up top to Hendricks. Hendricks with the basketball. You've 30 to, seconds. You've got to communicate in the back row where Benton is. Now it goes into the corner to Martin. Over to Benton. Benton layup up and good. Yeah. Betton just over the top of the rim, and it's 29-29. Here comes the Zebras. Tanner with the basketball. Tanner has it, tries to throw it off the leg of Martin, and Martin steals it, goes up, and nope, we're going to have a charging foul. Carson Pollock getting back to take the charge, and Martin will pick up his second. Just great hustle by Pollock. Yeah. I think everybody was kind of surprised at because you know, Tanner threw it off. Martin's Lake thought for sure it would go out of bounds. It didn't. Tanner is, yep, we don't have travel. Tanner trying to look ahead and did not put it on the floor. Turnover. Now Manchester will have it with seven seconds at half court. 15 turnovers for Rochester, and yet they're tied. They hand it off to Hendricks, and a foul coming. That will send Manchester back to the line. And the foul is coming. Number four. Hook, Hook will first. pick up his first. Zebra's already in the bonus, so that will send Ethan Hendricks to the line to shoot two. Free throw on the way. No good off the back of the iron. 29-29 with 5.7 seconds to go. Manchester's guards had that first step quickness that yeah. uh, Whitco and North Miami didn't have. Their guards didn't have that. Free throw is good this time by Hendricks. Takes a one-point lead. Zebras looking to get it in. They do to Pollock. Pollock with three to Tanner. Volleyball line three on the way off the front of the iron. No good. And that'll do it for the first half. It's Manchester 30. Zebras 29 here at the halftime. Halftime show going to be brought to you this evening by Rochester Iron and Metal. We'll have stats and more when we come back. At halftime, Zebras on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard trail by one. 30-29 here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Rochester High School is where we are. One point game is what's on the scoreboard. The Jennings Insurance scoreboard and Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. We also want to thank Smith Farm Store, serving farm and home since 1971. Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance, insurance bonds and wealth management. Jennings Insurance in Argus and Rochester, like I said. Also Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't try for future, please recycle. And Plasky Memorial Hospital, connecting you with excellent health care providers. Squires will start with the basketball and the lead by one here in the third. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. It's the original five back on the floor for Rochester. Also the original five for Manchester. Here's a tip stolen by Rochester. Tip from behind, and we're going to have double turnovers. 
And we are. Yep. Each team starting out with turnovers on their first possession as that one uh, was off of Bowers. So now 16 turnovers for Rochester, 15 for Manchester. Squires with the basketball. Hendricks has it, top of the key. I've been to some soccer games where the ball wasn't kicked as much. <laughs> now to Benton. Benton, turn around and fade away. Jumper up and good from the left side. He's got 11 now. Yeah, that shot's pretty much unstoppable. Yeah. 32-29. Here's Bauer, or excuse me, Prater with the basketball. Full court press put on by Squires. They get it across to Bogger. Now down in the corner to Tanner. Reinerts against Benton. Gives it up to Bowers, but it pass is stolen. And it's still loose, picked up now by Martin. Quickly ahead to Seitz. Seitz up and no good, but a foul coming. And it's going to be a blocking foul against the Zebras. Zebra and that's going to be on Bogger, his second team first of the quarter. Seitz looking for his first points of the contest as he's got two free throws coming. Again, you have to come and meet the pass. First one's good. That is the biggest key to... Especially when you're when it's a fast-paced game like this, Manchester with those quick hands get back quickly as well. Sites makes both of them. Zebras were up by eight in the second quarter, and Manchester would turn it totally around here. Now Manchester up by five. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Pressure put on him. Ball's loose. Picked back up. Tanner Reinert straight away three's good. And Coach Mako wants a timeout. And uh, that puts Tanner Reinerts in double digits. It's a 30-second timeout. Coach Malco not liking the start of it, so wants to uh, make sure everybody's back on the same page. 6.55 to go here. Zebras trail by two, 34-32. Man, if Zebras come back and win this game, remember that play by <laughs> Owen Prater. Yeah. He totally went down on the floor to get that ball. He doesn't, I don't think he gets anything for it statistically, but he was the one who got a loose ball, got it to Bowers, and Bowers... Yeah. Fun and open Reinerts, and it's those types of plays. That's how you win games in the TRC. Got to go get those balls, and then uh, great job by Prater. And that's why, you, and that's why you need him on the floor. Uh, you need right. Owen on the floor, but that's also why you worry about him because if he gets in, that's how you get fouls sometimes. Right. right. But just Manchester mm. basketball after the 30-second timeout by Rochester. I mean, See what you, Rochester decides to do here defensively. That's how you win games in this conference. Looks like they're going to back it up and half court, and they're going to be in man. 6.50 to go in the third. Hendricks with the basketball. Hendricks comes to the near side. Now to Benton. He'll fire a three from the right wing. No good. Rebound fought for. Seitz comes away with it. He gives it off to McLean. McLean dribbles in, kicks it out. Here's a three by Martin. Off the mark. No good. Pollock with the rebound. Pollock quickly ahead to Bogger. Down at the other end, layup up and good for Bryce. Bogger with six, his first field goal of the night. If you didn't know, Carson Pollock's a quarterback. <laughs> Tied at 34. That was a beautiful pass. Martin just takes it to the hole from the baseline and scores off the glass. He's got 13. Here's a pass deflected. Quickly ahead, here's Bogger. Bogger has it. Three on the way, no good. And we're going to have an offensive fouls over the back oh, that's on Owen four. Prater. Number 20, Owen Prater, his fourth. Prater picks up his fourth, team second. second. That will unfortunately get him to the bench, and Dylan Hook will come in. 6.05 to go in the third. Again, it was 27-26. Rochester when he picked up his third and Manchester outscored Rochester four to two the rest of the half. So it was they survived that first yeah. this first bit of foul trouble. Now let's this is going to be even a, a bigger issue. This is going to be longer. Benton into the paint. Benton turns it around, throws up a shot short. Benton tips it over to Seitz up and good. Seitz with his first field goal. He's got four. Well, 38 34. Yeah. And now we're going to have a foul against Seitz. It's going to be his second. As Bauer tries to make the pass to Hook, and he's going to be fouled. Foul. That's just so frustrating because Tanner Reinert's played tremendous defense yeah. on Benton that last possession, but it, it only means so much unless you can collect, collect a defensive board. Bowers has it in the backcourt. He'll dribble it across the timeline, guarded by Hendricks. Bowers gives it off to Pollock on the wing. Wing back over to Reinerts against Benton. Into the free throw line. Slips. Now he'll pass it back out to Bryce. 
Barner has it now to Pollock. Pollock looking, finds Bryce in the corner. Bryce guarded by Martin. Bryce is passed to Tanner. Now into the corner to Pollock. Carson against Seitz. Baseline. Stops. Now he'll kick it back out, throw it over the top to Bryce. To Drew. Bowers with the basketball. Downloaded to Hook. Hook loses it. Picked up by Hendricks. Hendricks gives it to Benton. Benton into the paint. Up, no good. Rebound Tanner Reinerts. Ahead to Pollock. Pollock, left hand layup. Up and good. Pollock's got five on the night. 38-36. Manchester leads by two. 4.30 to go. Green outlet pass by Reinerts. Yeah, he looked like the quarterback there. McLean with it to Seitz. Now to Hendricks. Four and a half to go. Patton straight away three is good. And Coach Henson wants a timeout. The three is good. It's a full timeout, and it's a 41-36 lead for the Squires on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Back with more after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. After the 60-second timeout by the Manchester Squires, it'll be Zebra basketball. We have a bi-county update. Bremen leads LaVille 20 to 19 in halftime. In the first game, John Glenn beat Triton 60 to 44. So John Glenn will play the winner of that Bremen LaVille game tomorrow night for the title. Zebras break the press. They give it over to Reinerts. Reinerts head fakes in against Benton. Benton stops prayer. Now down low to Cl- uh, Reffitt. Oh, Reffitt up and good. What a pass by Bowers. Reffitt coming in at that timeout. And now here's the Zebras down three. Three on the way for Manchester. No good. The rebound to Hendricks. Hendricks goes up. No good, but a foul coming. And I believe it's going to be against Tanner Reinerts. And it is his second, team third. And that will send Hendricks to the line to shoot two. You know, we sit here in the Rochester side of the bleachers and Number we're sitting here at the top, so I, yeah. you see you see Rochester fans just take off their hat and just put their hands through their <laughs> hair like like there's just so many times yeah. and I just so close yeah so close free, free throw is good and Wyatt coming back Prater. in Wyatt Prater for Manchester we saw Hendricks here two years ago and it you could tell he was brought young and raw but he's he's become a ball player in these last two years and not just a junior makes. Both free throws, he's got eight points. Zebras break the press easy. Ref it with it. Cross court pass to Reinerts. Down low to Bacher. Bacher kicks it back out. Bowers, head fakes, goes into the paint, leaves it down low for Pollock. And the pass is deflected. It'll be out of bounds. Turnover, Rochester. Benton, or excuse me, Benton did a great job there against Pollock. Again, the head fake doesn't really bother Benton. He's played enough basketball, and you kind of got to go strong up into him. He blocked it off Pollock. Yeah. Yeah. And then the ball landed out of bounds. Here is Manchester with the basketball. By and large, Rochester's made better decisions this quarter. Martin, three on the way is good. Martin's got five in the quarter, giving 16 on the night, 46-38. And there a foul coming against Klein as Bonker goes to catch the pass. That'll be his third, just the team second of the quarter. Yeah, not a bad foul. I mean, you only it's only your second team foul, and Klein doesn't play a ton of minutes anyway. Yeah. Uh, Bowers will get it in the backcourt. Worth a risk. Again, Rochester's made good decisions with the ball. They just, they've got to finish at the rim. Tanner gets it. He goes to pass it to Bowers, and it's stolen. Here is Hendricks, the other end. Hendricks, right-hand layup, too hard. Benton tries to tip it in, and it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Manchester. And that was the Val Jinx there. <laughs> 2.58 to go here in the third. So they made good decision with the ball, and they throw a bad pass right away. 46-38, the inbound pass. Three on the way, and no good. And a rebound fought for, and a foul coming. And we'll wait and see who it's going to be whistled on as... It's going to be against the Squires. All right. Klein just picked up his fourth. He'll come out, and Wagner will come in. Full court press put on now by the Squires. 2.54 to go on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. That was not a great shot. Again, if, if you yeah. shoot a three, get the big fella a touch at least. Reffitt gets it. Reffitt in the backcourt still. Gives it off to Bowers. Now he'll cross the timeline. 
Bowers into the paint, pull up jumper, no good. Benton with a rebound. Benton will bring it up himself. 46-38, Manchester on top. Here's Hendricks with it. They go down low to Benton. Benton, turn around jumper good. Yeah, Benton. Double team is too late. And we do have a whistle. And I'm not sure, wet floor. Looks like they'll get a towel and wipe up some sweat maybe on the floor. Stoppage in play, leaves us with 2.29 to go here in the third, 48-38. Manchester on the top on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Back in action tomorrow afternoon as the Caston Comets come knocking on the door. Coach Carl Davis and the squad will be here for a 1 o'clock JV start. 2.30, varsity start will be on the air at about 2.10 with coverage of tomorrow's action. They'll be sleeping here overnight, I think. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Just pull up a cot. You're gonna stay. You're gonna stay tomorrow night too, and just right from here on Sunday all day. Yeah, right. But it'd be peaceful. Sure. <laughs> Drew Bowers with the basketball, head to Revit. Revit makes a pass to Bogger, and it goes out of bounds. Revit made a pass. I don't think Bryce was expecting him to make, and uh, wasn't ready for it. And it goes out of bounds. Another turnover. 2.20 to go here in the third. 10-point Manchester lead. On the far side, that's Prater for Manchester. Down to Benton. Gets it back out to Prater. He'll fire a deep three on the way. Short up the front of the iron. Hendricks with a rebound. Stolen by Bowers. Bowers goes to the hole. Left-hand layup. Up and good. Bowers. Drew Bowers with his first points of the third quarter. And delay of game warning, yep, I believe. Delay of game warning. That'll give the Zebras an opportunity to bring Grant Clark back in. Ref, it'll sit down. Eight-point Manchester lead, 48-40. Well, now the previous possession, the double team was too late, and yeah. it was basically an easy bucket for Benton. There the double team came hard, and they were able to force, him, force Benton to kick it back out. Gives it off to Wyatt Prater. Prater has it for Manchester. Wagner, top of the key. Back to Prater. Minute 45 to go here in the third. Prater drives in, kicks it out to Martin. Martin tips it to Benton. Benton going downhill, throws up a shot, no good. Tips it in, no good. Rebound to Martin. Martin will dribble out, step back, take the three, no good. Gets his own rebound and a foul coming on the floor. It'll be before the shot and it's going to be on Bocker, his third, team fourth. So it'll be out of bounds with a minute 31 to go. Manchester has it. And coming back in will be 33, Torpy. And sitting down was Wyatt Prater. Locker will sit down and Honkamp will come. Hunter Honkamp makes his first entrance of the evening in the varsity contest. Over the top it goes. Stolen by Bowers. Bowers almost loses it, picks it back up, throws up a shot, no good. But a foul coming. And Drew was lucky there as he lost it. And that foul was on 33, Torpy. His first, and Bowers down to the free throw line. What a steal by Drew Bowers. He kind of, the pass was going toward midcourt, and Drew anticipated where it was going, and he was able to get a steal. This is the first free throw. Zero. Looks like Sites, Sites comes back in and Torpy will sit down. And the, the frustrating thing is that it, it's not that the tempo's been. No. The tempo's fine, I think, if you're a Rochester fan. They just haven't converted. Free throw. Second one is good this time by Bowers. He's got 14. And the rebounding has not been great. 48 41. No, definitely not. And here it down low to Benton. Benton's pass is tipped and stolen by Tanner Reiner. Great double team by Grant Clark. Here is Bowers with it. And Bowers, top of the key now to Pollock. I like to get Grant Bowers or Drew Bowers a look here. I think Reiner has it against Benton. Gives it off to Clark. Hendricks face guarding. It's almost like a box defense. Yeah. Clark has it now. Gives it off to Bowers. Bowers against Hendricks, goes right side, pulls up, looking, looking, finally gives it off to Reinerts. Reinerts has it with 40 seconds in the quarter. Up, partially blocked by Benton, balls loose, picked up by Seitz. Seitz looks ahead, here's Wagner, left-hand layup, up and good. Carter Wagner. Carter Wagner with his first two points. 
Quickly down is Rochester. Honkamp, top of the key. Honkamp has it. Picks it up, gives it to Reinerts. Reinerts gives it back to Honkamp against Martin. Honkamp dribbles into the free throw line. Back to Pollock. Now to Bowers, right wing. Into the corner to Honkamp. Honkamp is stolen by Hendricks. Hendricks, left hand layup, up and good. Ethan Hendricks. So all of a sudden, the Zebras find themselves down by 11 at the end of the third quarter. 52-41 here at Rochester High School. Fourth and final quarter on the way. China FM and RTC TV4. It'll be Rochester basketball. Scoring update from uh, Lafayette Central Catholic. Peru leads at the end of the third quarter, 32-29. So now it's so on the floor for Rochester. It's Pollock, Prater, Bowers, Kaiser, and Reinerts. Zebras start with the basketball. Bowers with it. Bowers, top of the key. Back door to Pollock. Over to Kaiser. Kaiser, top of the key to Reinerts against Benton. Drives down. Tries to draw a foul. Throws up a shot. No good. Reinerts gets his own rebound. Falls down. Throws it up. Count it. Wow. What an effort by Tanner Reinerts. Martin picks up his third. And now Reinerts will go to the line to complete the three-point play. 12 on the night for Tanner. Yeah, foul on Martin. Yeah, I mean, what Tanner has learned is that you, to, if you want to go at Benton, you got to go into his chest. Right. You can't go around him or float it over him. He's going to smother it. Knocks that in. Also, I'm curious to see if Coach Malco will set a high ball screen to free Bowers because Hendricks yeah. is, is doing a nice job defensively on Drew. And Pressure put on in the backcourt by the Zebras. Now Manchester breaks it. McLean has it. Gives it off to Prater, or excuse me, that's Hendricks. Hendricks with two and a running jumper down the baseline. That was a nice shot by Hendricks. That wasn't easy at all. Reinerts the other end for three off the mark. No good. And a quick rebound by Hendricks. Kind of a quick shot for Rochester. There's Benton has it. Top of the key. Benton gets it back out. Now here is McLean. Goes down low to Benton. Benton against Prater, and Prater had to let him go. And... Benton gets two more. And we have a turnover on Rochester, loses it out of bounds right in front of the North, or excuse me, Manchester bench. Oh, so frustrating. You get that three point play to start the quarter and you get, get it back down to eight and you. Yeah, now back to 12. And they're big guys. Hendrickson and Benton have done their thing. Benton down low against Fair and he loses the ball. It looks awkward, but a whistle coming against Tanner. I don't think Tanner really did much. It just the way the ball was lost. Benton will go to the line to shoot two now. And the fouls on Bowers. Oh, they did call it on Bowers. My apologies, Tanner. Bowers picks up his third. Still the team first of the quarter. Benton free throw is in and out. No good. That's his first miss of the uh, evening. Now two for three. Manchester in the same sectional with... Fort Wayne Lures, they're ranked number three. Yeah. Fort Wayne Blackhawk, they're ranked number five, and they're the defending state champion. Uh, a very good Adam Central team is in their sectional as well. Adam Central beat Manchester last year. They're, they're tough. Second free throw by Benton is good this time. And a timeout by Coach Henson. It's a 30-second timeout with 6.50 to go here in the contest on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Manchester 57, Rochester 44. In 6.50 to go here in this contest. Zebras down trail by 13, 57-44. After the timeout by Manchester. Zebras will have it to bring the distance and Manchester will put some pressure on. Powers looking to get it in. Gets it in to Prater. Prater. In the backcourt, Prater has the ball tipped and a foul coming. And that one's going to be whistled against Hendricks. It's going to be his second, team second. So Zebras will inbound right now in front of the Manchester bench. Locker looking to get it in. Looking, looking, tries to go to Kaiser, stolen by Martin. Martin hands it back over to McLean. 
Down the corner to Martin. Back to McLean. Far side. McLean dribbles. Jump pass over to Hendricks. He goes to the hole. Throws up a shot. Good. Wow. Ethan Hendricks. Hendricks has two more. He's got 14 on the night. Yeah, but Hendricks, he's 5'8", but he can play on the wing almost. 59-44. Down low to Prater. Prater throws up a shot off Mark. No good. And a rebound by Bogger. And Seitz is going to be called for a holding foul. 15 Score yards. Sites is, is he's listed at 5'11", but he's firm. Yeah. And he can play, because he's so strong, he can play against bigger guys. Mm -hmm. He can play against the guy who's 6'2", 6'3", maybe. There's the pass into Prater. Prater has the basketball into the paint. Prater throws up a jumper and off the mark, and the rebound comes away to Martin, and now Kaiser going to be called for a foul. Jonas Kaiser going to pick up his second. Team second. I think some Rochester fans are a little frustrated because they thought McLean got away with one, and yeah. then they get called for a ticky-tack one. But uh, it's more than that why Manchester's got a 15-point lead right now. Quickly down to Martin. Martin has the basketball. Now to McLean. Peru leads Lafayette Central Catholic 37-31 with four and a half to go. Here's Martin or Hendricks to McLean. McLean, Mark Hendricks, right down the middle, untouched. Ethan and Ethan Hendricks has two more. Nobody even tried to slow him down. Kaiser has it out to Bowers. Bauer down to Kaiser. Kaiser guarded by Benton. Gives it off to uh, Prater. Pass is deflected. Benton and dunks it. Gavin Benton. Well, the, the sophomores have made yeah. a lot of progress this year, but the sophomores have really struggled in just in general yeah. against handling this pressure. Squire foul, zero. Garrett Seitz is fourth. 63-44. It's like the ball, the game is moving a bit fast for the yeah. sophomores, just in general. Coming in is Wagner and Torpy. Sitting down will be uh, Seitz and McLean for Manchester. Zebra's getting it in. They get it in the backcourt to Bowers. 5.15 to go. Ever since Brady Perez graduated, the, the dunks have been few and far between for the Zebras. <laughs> and you notice that when the guy in the other team dunks. Reinert's three on the way, no good. And the rebound to Prater, goes back up, no good. Rebound, Hendricks quickly ahead to Benton. Benton dunks it again. Gavin Benton. Benton with back-to-back -back dunks. Makes it 65-44. Here's the Zebras on the other end, no good. Prater with a rebound, back up, no good. Benton with a rebound. Benton and then is going to be fouled, and I believe Prater might have just fouled out. We'll wait and see to make sure. And it is on Zebra Prater, foul. his fifth. Owen Prater, his fifth. Prater will foul out with two points on the night. The Coming in for him will Zebra be Carson Pollock. And for the Zebras, 24. Zebras are going to go man matchup for the final 444 at least here to and start. Just a frustrating night for Owen. Just seemed like he, yeah. he was in foul trouble. And then when he gets in the game, he misses a shot. I'm sure he thought he thinks he should make. And all of a sudden, it's a 13-0 run, and the game's gotten out of hand. Seitz has it. Now to Benton. Benton, top of the key. Benton loses it, picks it back up. Now he gives it to Hendricks. Hendricks around the left side, throws up a jumper. No good. And... That's a rebound off to uh, Bryce. Bogger with it. Now to Pollock. Pollock down the left side. Kicks it back out to Kaiser. Back to Pollock. Top the key now to Bogger. Into the paint. Goes up against his defender. No good. The rebound tipped around. Benton comes away with it. Well, Manchester's defense has just been yeah. full court defense has been good. Their half court defense has been good. And this is Hendricks. the best version of Manchester I think we've seen yeah. uh, since Coach Henson has been there. The Hendricks, top of the key against Bowers. Goes left side, now to Seitz. Seitz has it, top of the key to Benton. He'll fire a three, good. Three point basket. Right. You gotta fight through the screens a bit harder than that. 68-44, here is Bowers on the other end, banks it in, Bowers. and a timeout by timeout. Coach Zero. Malco. 3.32 to go, 68-46, 60 second timeout. We'll be back with more. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. <laughs> Rochester High School 
Zebras do some substituting, bring a hook in, and Honkamp back in, Luke Malko in for the first time. Also, McLean back in for Manchester. 3.32 to go here in the fourth, 68-46. Manchester has opened this thing up here with some great defense here to the late third into this fourth quarter. McLean. I remember the last time Manchester won an outright TRC talent. Might have to go back to when Mo Smedley was a coach, yeah. mid-90s. Mid they got a great opportunity to do it this year. But good, they're going to have to take a good team to beat them. But I'm sure McConaughey and Peru would like to yeah. have a say in that. Yeah, again, we got a long way to go, but yeah. this is... This is their fifth game. This will be 5-0. and oh. Yeah. Steele on the other end. Here is Benton up. Good and a foul. And a Benton will go to the line to shoot the free throw to complete the three-point play. And now it's 70-46. to 46. That was grown man strength there. That was a, it was a Rochester player basically hanging off his arm, and he still <laughs> was able to muscle it in. Benton lefty free throw missed. Honkamp with a rebound. 70-46, here comes Zebras. Well, again, Coach Malco definitely wants guys to be well-rested for tomorrow at 2.30. And they've got no time to, yeah. and there's no, no time to leave the starters out there if you don't have to. Honkamp's pass is stolen. Here's McLean, layup up and good. Tyler McLean. And now McLean com commits a foul at the other end. 72-46. Kind of probably an ill-advised foul if uh, you're Coach Henson, as he'll send Malco to the line. Luke Malco. Malco shooting free throws. Luke looking for his first points and misses the first free throw. Host of substitutions for Manchester, 24. Caleb Klein to Prater and number 10, Carson Heath as uh, Seitz, Benton, and McLean all sit down for the night. Luke Malko, second free throw on the way is good this time. And so it's 72-47. Down the lane, here's T Torpy. Torpy's up and good. Torpy has two points, 74-47. Down in the other end, Pollock, turn around jumper in the paint, good for Carson. Nice play by Carson. Yeah. Down at the other end, blocked by Hook. Hook gets the block, but picked up the rebound was Heath. He shot up no good, and the rebound comes away to Wagner. Wagner gives it off to Wyatt Prater. Prater for Manchester at the elbow. Kicks it back out to 24, Klein. Klein on the far side. Now gives it up to Prater. Prater. Back out to Wagner. Kicks it around to Torpy, top of the key to bring it this side and out to Klein. Klein's pass knocked out of bounds by Kaiser. It'll stay right here with minute 46 to go, 74-49. Here is Prater, Wyatt Prater for the Manchester Squires with the basketball to Klein. Klein right side. Now they go down low. That is Heath. Heath in the paint. Throws up a shot. No good. Wagner with the tip back. Carter Wagner with his fourth point of the night. 76-49. Hook has it. Yeah, Hook. It's, it's not good enough just to be near the rim. You've got yeah. to put your body on a guy. Kaiser with the basketball. Not a Pollock. Pollock left side. Trying to go down low to Malco. They can't get it to him, so he goes back to Hook on the far side. Hook then is going to be fouled, and he'll get to go to the free throw line to shoot two. And Wyatt Prater Swire picks foul. up his two, first Prater foul. First. Dylan Hook at the line. Hook. Look, the good news is that nobody in Rochester's sectional is, plays like Manchester does. Yeah. Uh, free throw short for Hook. Coming in uh, will be uh, number 34, Sammy Lambert. Lambert will check in, and Wagner will sit down. You know, teams like Wabash and Lewis Cass are guard-oriented teams. Pioneers, very small team. Hook makes his second free throw. Oh, what a play by Pollock. Steal by Pollock at the other end on the inbound pass. Gets two more, 76-52. It's one that nice Pollock will play all the way through, and he got that steal. 
with a nice effort. They go to Heath, now into the corner. That's Klein. Klein over to Torpy, 45 seconds to go. Torpy with the basketball. Gives it back over to Wyatt Prater. Prater down the baseline, kicks it back out. Klein, three ball on the way off the mark, no good. And Lambert gets the rebound. Lambert tries to go down low. Excuse me, that's Torpy, tried to go down low to Lambert. Pollock, three ball on the other end. Good for Paul, Carson Pollock. 55-76, Manchester leads, 20 seconds to go. Coach Malco says, back her down. It's just the fifth turnover this yeah. half for Manchester. Playing their, at their speed and their tempo, that's impressive. 76-55 is going to be the final here this evening as the Manchester Squires move to 5-0 in the TRC. Rochester goes to 2-1. and one. Again, the final, 76-55 from Rochester High School. Back with the post game, being brought to you by Perkins and Adley, the law firm built for the current and future legal needs. Back with more from Rochester High School here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Yeah. 